Today I'm going to be recreating what has to be one of my favorite more creative looks I've done in a long time. You may have seen it, I posted it everywhere on Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. It's this gorgeous all pink look inspired by this photo I found on Pinterest. So before I get to it, please consider subscribing and let's get started. So this is going to start like most of my videos. I'm using my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I use two to three pumps of this. For my foundation, I wanted something kind of lightweight, see-through, but still really corrective. So I picked my Givenchy Prisma Libre Skin Care and Glow Foundation in the shade N120. And I'm going to blend it out using my Funny Shu Umura brush here. I really like this thing. You can see here that it just gets the job done so quickly. It's really densely packed. It has like 500,000 bristles. It doesn't allow the foundation to be sopped up. It just kind of stays on the surface. So it almost gives the effect of like a brush sponge hybrid. It's really cool. And it has a nice point to it. So you can even blend out your concealer using this too. I've had this in my collection for years and I'm just now discovering it. And as always, I'm going over with my sponge. I have been playing around with my filming lights. I've been filming in a lower light setting. I feel like you can really see what's happening here and it's better for my eyes because usually I just am squinting all the time and I'm like, that can't be good long-term. So this is easier on my eyes and I feel like you can see things clearer. So let me know your feedback on that. I'm going in a funny order today, so now I'm going to pick up my cream blush and I'm using the Tower 28 Beach Please blush in the shade Dream Hour, which is this vibrant, uh, cool toned pink. And I'm applying it using my Rare Beauty blush brush, this one right here. And I'm applying this kind of where I would highlight because I'm going to carry that pink all the way up to my under eye. And I haven't gone in with my concealer yet, so if it looks a little messy, that's okay. The concealer will clean it up and kind of fade it out nice. Okay, so I'm really excited about this next step. In my initial like short form version of this look, I used my Maybelline concealers, one in the shade 160, which is the very pink color correcting one, and 120, which is just like my normal concealing shade. But Huda Beauty came out with a new color correcting shade in Cherry Blossom, and I'm so curious about it. I just received it. It came in this really cute PR package, Team Pink and Team Peach. They also launched like this gorgeous peach toned powder. So I'm thinking of doing like a fun look where I have one side of my face Team Pink and the other Team Peach could be cute, um, but that's another day. I'm going to be using these two products now. So I'll go in with a little bit of my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Honey 1.7B. Just a little touch. So this next product is a color corrector. So you would use this typically underneath of your concealer, but I'm kind of using it as like a blush transition shade. So let's see how this goes. It's my first time using it. I'm too curious. I'm going to traipse this down towards my cheekbone. Just kind of mellow that out, you see? It'll look like an underpainted blush. I think I like my Maybelline color corrector more. It's a lot brighter and more pink now that I'm looking at it. There's a drastic difference. I prefer my Maybelline for this look anyways. I thought it was going to be like quite cool and quite pink, but it's okay, it's okay. Now I'm going to set my under eyes using my Flower Nose Powder in pink. It's specifically the shade 01, but this is a very pink powder, as you can see here. I'll compare it to the Cherry Blossom. It's a lot more pigmented and a little bit more of like a warm pink. So I'm taking it on a little Huda Beauty powder puff. Always rub and tap so it's like an even powder stamp and then get after it. I do light little pats. I'm a little bit more aggressive right here because I'm really trying to press that powder into where my concealer crease is. But just like how I blended out my concealer, once I set right here, I kind of traipse it down. And we can see the difference 
here. Set and unset. Oh, I just inhaled so much of that. I was like, is this fragranced? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> that was very stupid. I don't know why I did that. No scent. Then I'm taking a clean, smaller brush and I'm just going to sweep away any excess. It's gonna look a little weird right now because it's like very pink just in this area, but it ends up really working. I'm now going to contour using Fenty Amber and I'm putting this everywhere. Usually I keep this color pretty tucked in like here, but I'm almost applying it like a bronzer again. So we get that cool toned effect everywhere. I'm going to add a little bit of a setting powder and I just got this one from M Cosmetics. How cute is this packaging? I love it. So let's hope I like the actual product inside. This is the M Cosmetics Portrait Mode Refining Setting Powder. It sounds glorious, okay? It says, experience a sheer refining powder with the blurring and mattifying strength of a loose powder. It's supposed to be a sheer application ultra thin to prevent over applying and highly flexible to bend around facial curves. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm taking some on a clean brush. This is just a Sydney Grace powder brush and I'll just dip right in there and we'll see how this goes. So let's see my forehead. That's where we can see the most shine. Okay, before we'll do a little half C's. Okay. Okay, that is actually super, super blurring and diffusing. Thin on my skin, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a powder at all. Okay, then I'm going to add some right here as well, because I'm going in with a cool pink powder blush next, and it just has better glide when you have a little bit of a set face. Interesting, I'm intrigued by that powder. So this is the star of the show for me, it's the Surat Blush Duo. Uh, you have to buy single blushes, I believe. This one's in the shade Guimauve, and this is Baba Papa. I've said this once or twice, but this gives Sabrina Carpenter vibes, for sure. She has always the prettiest cheek makeup, and I get that effect with this. I'm taking my favorite blush brush, which is the BK Beauty 107. It's just the perfect shape. And I'm taking the matte one, which is the shade Guimauve. That's such a funny word to me, I don't know. There's a few French words where I'm like, I don't love saying them, Guimauve. Yaour is another one. Grenouille. <laughs> Grenouille. <laughs> Anyways, moving past that, I just lightly build this up on my cheekbone. And we're going for like a blush focused look, so I'm not going to be shy here, okay? Such a nice color. I'm just going to add whatever I can to my nose here. And before the true magic happens with the shimmery blush, I'm just going to add a little bit of my setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. That was not a little bit. I never go in with a little bit of setting spray. I'm taking my Pat McGrath blush brush. It's like a nice, kind of softer bristled one. And I'm going into that shimmery blush, tapping the excess off. And then I'm going to just blend this on my cheekbone as if it were a highlighter. And I also make sure to hit right here. So when I smile, it like, bling. <laughs> and take your time here, because the more you blend this out, the better it gets. And like how pretty and dimensional is that? Words cannot describe how in love I am with these two blushes. I'm now going to take a little intermission to do my brows and prime my lids, so please enjoy. It's finally time to get to the eyes and this eye look is a little meticulous and there's lots of steps, so 
pay attention class. So to start this look, I'm taking my About Face Fluid Eye Paint in the shade On Point, which is a soft ballerina pink. And I'm just scooping some onto a palette, just like so. And I'm taking this flat, fluffier brush. This is an old ColourPop one, E25. I don't know if it's available anymore, but it's kind of like a basic shape. And I'm patting this on my mobile lid just so that we get a good pigmented pink base. So I'm patting it first, and once I have a good layer, I wipe off my brush, and then I'm going to start blending. And I flick it out just a touch. So this is the basic shape that you're gonna want, but then you wanna blend those edges. But you wanna keep it pretty close to your mobile lid. You don't want it to kind of move up into your crease that much. Then I'll be switching to another brush very similar to this. This is a BK Beauty 203. And I'm taking the beautiful pink shade from this Flower Nose Swan Ballet, Pink Swan eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so this shade right here, the darker pink. I'm patting a lot of this into that base and I'm pressing with light but good pressure to mesh it into that cream. We wanna lock it down. And similar thing, after I pressed it into everywhere there, I just lightly blend upwards. Now I'm taking some basic browns. I chose my cold brew palette from Kaleidos just because it has these perfect neutral colors. I'm taking this light shade right here up in the crease using my Smith 232. And I'm flicking outwards. And this is a little bit more intense than my reference photo that I found on Pinterest, but it's kind of what I wanted. And then I took a small detailing brush. This is just a super small um, flat brush. I don't know what it is. It's from Glisten though. Um, and then I'm taking this medium brown right here. And I'm going to do that little inner corner detail, like a little dash. And to do that, I look right into my mirror because I want this to be visible when my eyes are open. So I just doot right there. And then I softly blend it. What's next? The little glitter. That's what caught my eye with this look. I liked the glitter placement. It was on the inner and outer and nothing in the middle. I thought that was cool. So I'm taking the other flower nose palette that I have. It's the White Swan and I'm taking the glitter. I'm just dampening my brush though, just so I get a precise application. And just like the reference photo, I'm blending it on the outer corner as well as the inner corner. And this is such a pretty glitter. And now we're ready for eyeliner. I'm using my Cheekbone Cosmetics Empower Eyeliner in the shade Cedar Brown. So I'm starting with a little dash of it right in my inner corner, right here, like so. And then I'm going to almost do like a double, well, I am going to be doing a double liner. I like to follow my natural eye shape right here and I kind of spot where the widest part of my eye ends, which is like right around here. I'm going to draw a line straight out from there. Kind of like so. And I'm just going to rub a little bit on my lashes as close as I can. And it looks janky right now, but I'm taking a Smith 203 and I'm going to blend this out. And I'm going for like a rounded inner corner a little bit like that. And then I'm going to try to keep this as close as I can to my lashes here. And then I'm going to drag this out quite far. I love meticulous eye looks. It's so fun for me to create. I just get so excited. Then we're going to do the top liner. And I go from my outermost corner here, angling it a little bit upwards. I kind of messed up on the side and I did like my normal angle. I wanted the angle to be pointed up a little bit more, but you know, my habits kicked in. You can forego liner if you want for this look or you can switch up the color, but I like the brown. I feel like it grounded the look nicely, but still softened it. I 
feel like it made the pinks really flattering. Now we're grabbing more of the About Face liner. And this is where you can kind of clean up right here because I over blended. It's no big deal. I'm just going to cover this up as if it were concealer. I'm squinting my eyes a little bit and I'm going to cover pretty much this entire little eye bag thing I have. And then same thing, I'm just going to use the same brush, but I'm grabbing those flower nose pinks again, starting with this one, and then I'll highlight using this one. Taking the lighter pink now, and I'm just going to go over top of that. Same thing right in the center on top, just to add a little more dimension. I'll blend this out in a second. And then taking the other detailing brush with a little bit of brown on it, and I'm going to draw a little line right here to kind of contour and sandwich that in. And I'm taking both of these colors. And same thing, I'm kind of contouring my natural anatomy here. And I'm missing something. Oh yeah, I'm taking more of those browns. I'm taking a little touch of this deep dark brown and I'm going to hit right here with it, right there to make that extra pigmented and dramatic. Now I'm adding a nice coat of my Cleo Kill Lash Mascara. And for my lower lash mascara, I'm going for like a doll look, so I'm just really focusing the most on the lower center lashes like that. Usually I put emphasis on the outer, but I kind of like the middle for this specific look. Now I'm going to add some falsies, and these are some really fun ones I got on Amazon. They're like spiky lashes. I just cut them up in little sections to use as lash clusters instead of like a full band. I'm using so many. Chinese and Korean beauty techniques today. I'm now taking my Falscara lash glue to coat the undersides of my lashes. I'm doing one eye at a time. Then I'm going to stick on some of these little clusters. And once I think they're set, I take some of the seal side of the glue here and I apply it to my tweezers just so that when I pinch my lashes together, the lashes don't stick to my tweezers. Now that the lashes are on, the look is finished. You don't have to use the spike your lashes if you're not into them. For me, it makes the look, I feel like it just brings it to the next level, makes my eyes look super, super doll-like and cutesy. Like how big do my eyes look? wild right i just adore this look through and through so fun i was so happy to recreate it again today so now let's finish with lips i'm using my elf lip liner from the jennifer coolidge collection and this is a different lip combo than my original little short form video i didn't love the end result i just couldn't think of anything that would work better and then i'm using my romand juicy lasting tint in the shade 32 bear berry smoothie which is a super baby cool pink color that is so much better And here's the finished look. I am so proud of this one. I love how meticulous the eye look is and the cheek is just perfect. That blush duo is so special to me. I just love watching it in action. The shift is hypnotizing for real. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll link and list everything I used in the description box down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.